plan today. Um, kind of wanted to tell a little bit about myself, where I came from. Um, my name is Megan Wood. I live in Crawfordsville, Indiana. I was a waitress and a bartender for 13 years. Um, I'm a single mom and um, I was looking for something. You know, it's really weird how it happened. I was looking for something and I didn't know what it was gonna be, but I know my son was two at the time and working at Applebee's, being a waitress and a bartender, like I knew in my mind, it was killing me. I mean, I would go into work. I don't know if anybody's ever had one of those, you know, jobs that you go into work and you can be in a happy mood. You can be in a good mood. And it's that one person that's just like waiting to bring you down right when you walk in there. And I'm sure others feel that way, but that's how I felt every day going into my job. I would leave at four o'clock. I wouldn't get home till midnight, get to bed at two, wake up at 6 30, 7 a.m. with my son every day. And for me, I was not able to enjoy that time I had with my son. Um, it got to a point where I thought to myself, I thought, what am I going to do when he starts school? when he starts sports, when he starts all this stuff, he's going to get off the bus. I'm going to see him for an hour, two hours and leave and go to work. Like that is not what I wanted. And I had no idea how to get out of it. It's all I knew. It's all I knew. Um, and so we bought a house. I had saved up enough money at my waitressing and bartending job. Um, we bought a house and I wanted to make sure that my son would be taken care of, you know, when something were to happen to me. I did not want that burden left on my family. Um, so I was actually a lead. I had a paper and it said, as a new homeowner, you may qualify to purchase our mortgage protection. And so I had filled that in and I sent it in and I thought, well, I mean, I love my son. I want to make sure that he's protected. Okay. So I wasn't really thinking anything of it. Just send it in. That's what I wanted. Um, and I had a woman call me. She came over and she helped me out. She made sure that, you know, my family would be protected for my mortgage. And while she was there, she was a waitress and a bartender before. I mean, we were talking like we were friends and I'm looking at her and thinking to myself, wow. I mean, like, how is she, how did she get into this? I mean, like she can go to a home, help out a family, be their friend and she makes money doing it. I mean, like, wow. I mean, I was going into my workplace from four o'clock to midnight, exhausted in like as I called it the zombie mode, in like a zombie mode, not being able to enjoy my life, but I knew I had to be there just to pay for my bills. I did not want that. And I'm like, I told her, I'm like, how, how do you do this? Like, because I want what you have. I want what you have. And so I got my license. Um, I met Mike and Noel. You know, they've showed me the ropes. You know, my goal was always I'm a single mom, but I wanted to be a stay at home mom. I wanted to spend more time with my son. I wanted to actually live a life and not have to worry about bills, not have to worry about my son has a baseball game and I can't be there, not watching other people raise my child. I did not want to be in that position. So the Alliance has changed my life, it's changed my bank account. It's changed my son's life 
it was a dream come true. I think everything happens for a reason, you know, just filling out that lead has changed our lives. And so I want to talk a little bit about what we do. So we represent several different companies. We focus on life insurance. We represent several different companies. They're A-rated companies, companies like Mutual of Omaha, Forrester's Financial. And so they've been around for over a hundred years. We have a lead distributing team. They distribute thousands and thousands of leads across the United States. So what we do is we call these people, we set up an appointment, we go to their home, we help them out, and on average, every family helped, you earn about $400 a family. I was just waiting for somebody to make sure that I was taken care of. And so now I actually have the opportunity to make sure other families are taken care of as well. So it's changed my life and now I have the opportunity to change other people's lives. And <clears throat> so that's a little bit about what we do. We focus on life insurance. We do hospital indemnity plans. We do annuities. We're able to help people with their retirement. We have a debt recovery team. We're able to get people out of their debt quickly. Uh, we just started getting into Medicare. You know, I mean, we do health matching accounts. And so the, another great thing about what we do is we offer so many different things. So there's no cold calling. These people are reaching out to us wanting our help. No cold calling. They're waiting for us to call them. So our job is to call them and help them out. And so, you know, that's kind of the process. And because we represent so many different companies and we represent so many different products, there's no stopping to how much we can help a family. And not only that, but the opportunity is huge, is huge. You know, I mean, I went from making $30,000 a year at my waitressing and bartending job. Um, to making a hundred thousand my first full year from January until now, I have had $77,000 deposited into my bank account and it's changed me and my son's life. I don't have to worry about paying bills. I don't have to worry about, you know, if my son want something, I can get it. If we want to go on a vacation, we can go. Um, you know, a great thing is, is the tools that we have. I mean, Andy Albright has set it up to show us how he has become so successful. So we copy, right? I mean, that is what I have learned with being with the Alliance, the, where you want to be, the people that are where you want to be, copy those people, do exactly what they're doing. And it'll lead you in the direction where you want to be. And that is one of the number one things that I have learned. As long as you work, you will not fail. You will not fail. And as long as you call people and you do dials, you connect with people, you will not fail. You just gotta keep going. The only way you will fail is if you quit. So, I mean, we're looking for people that have a lot of energy. We're looking for people that wanna get out there and help families, help as many families as they possibly can. That's what I'm doing and I'm looking for those people as well. And so, like I said, Andy Albright, he's amazing. He has helped me be where I want to be. And he gives us the tools to use it. You know, I mean, one of the things we got here <clears throat> is the eight steps to success. So he wrote the eight steps to success. You follow the steps. 
I mean, like, it's amazing that <clears throat> the tools we have, you will not fail. Your steps are right here. So, I mean, it, it's crazy. It really is. I mean, all the support we have, there is no reason to not succeed as long as you lean in and communicate. As long as you lean in and communicate. Um, the leads, these are what the leads look like. So we call them up. This is somebody that had called in and wanted information. So as long as you're calling people, the opportunity is unreal. So um, we also go on trips, right? That's one of my favorite parts. So um, we won the Alaskan trip. I won the Alaskan trip. So it's kind of disappointed though because of the virus. So we moved that to um, 2022. But how amazing is it that we can win trips and we don't pay anything. You can take you and your spouse, you can take you and your child, you and another person, you win that trip. You don't pay a dime. Thailand, that's where we're going next. Another paper here. So I already won my trip and now I'm waiting for three other people. That's where I'm going. So 125,000 points, you go to Phuket for two. Um, 220,000 points, Phuket for two, Chiang Mai for two. And then when I first started, I was looking at this and I'm like, holy, like, how does anybody get all those points? Like nobody wins those. No, it is simple. You just have to work. So I am super excited about going on that trip and the relationships we have. I mean, the communication, the relationships, like, that's the one thing when I first started that definitely changed things for me. Um, because if we didn't have the support that we have, I would not be where I am now. So, I mean, we have people from all around the nation. I have best friends in California. I have best friends in Idaho. And even though we're across the United States, we are family. You know, um, the person that hired me, I talk to them on a daily basis. So when you're struggling, you pick up that phone. When you're not struggling and you just need advice, you pick up that phone. Communication is everything, is everything. Um, <clears throat> so it's definitely, I, um, I definitely wanted to talk to, I have a few people that I kind of wanted to chat with, you know, see where they are um, so they can kind of explain where they've came from and what they've done. Um, so let's see here. So, let's get, I'm gonna start with you, Chris. Can you unmute your line? There you go. Hey, Megan. Hey, hey. everybody. How we doing? Good, great. Good, good. Okay, so I kind of want you to talk about, you know, where you came from and where you are now. I know you just started. When did you first start, Chris? Well, I actually started uh, a little over, I think about a year and a half ago, but I was doing it very much part time. Um, and uh, my background really is, uh, I've worked in uh, several different industries, but my background by way of education is uh, I'm a mechanical engineer uh, and uh, uh, I've worked in manufacturing, I've worked in the IT industry, I've worked in uh, state government. Um, and what I was doing at the time just before this was uh, working for a company that did uh, worked in the residential and commercial construction space. Um, so I worked with them for several years and, uh, you know, just very comfortable, uh, but there wasn't much in the way of uh, a way forward, you know, a way up. Um, right. And um, so uh, as a result of all of the craziness that we're now all in the middle of, um, that job uh, basically went away. Um, and I immediately started full-time doing this. Um, and it's, it's been good, you know. Uh, we're uh, working on a bunch of things. I still have a lot to learn, um, you know, but um, I'm 
issuing policies, uh, money's getting deposited into my bank account. So, yeah. so yeah, um, I'm just looking to make all those numbers bigger. And the thing that I like, um, Chris, that I've noticed is you don't give up. And that's like the number one thing that people need to see is that if you don't give up, things will work in your favor, things work out. All you have to do is communicate. And that is what, one of the things that you are really good at is communicating. Mm -hmm. And so many people, you know, fall away from that. So that's huge. Um, so tell me a little bit about like, where, what are your goals with the Alliance? Where do you um, wanna be? Well, definitely my first goal is is just going to be to consistently replace the income that I had lost from my previous job. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's it's honestly not that far away right now. Um, I, I do it. I don't do it. But the consistency is the problem, the thing that I'm, I'm working on. Um, and like you mentioned, you know, it is work. Um, you do have to, to put in the work. But the great thing about all of it is that it's all laid out for you, you know, and there's just, there's so much support, um, you know, for if you have a question, if there's, if you have an issue, just call somebody. And uh, the only time I think that people really, it seems like the only time that anyone ever really gets not, not upset, but um, the only time you sort of quote unquote get in trouble is if you don't call, you know, so <laughs> right. I, that's, they that's, want you, we want you to communicate, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah, and beyond that, I, I mean, I want to, you know, I want to uh, go to Thailand. Uh, I want to uh, get, get promoted. Uh, I want to to be uh, as close as I can to being more like you. <laughs> <laughs> and we all have our goals, right? So I'm trying to be better myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we've all got stuff we're working on, and the support is amazing. I mean, like ooh, with Mike and Noel, you know, they have helped me out a lot. The whole team has. And so, I mean, you get a lot of support from me and Mike and Noel. Um, you know, how far away do you live from Mike? Uh, from their office, I'm about two hours. Right. So he doesn't see you like all the time, right? No. Right. How often does he help you out? I, I there's pretty much not a day that goes by that I don't talk to him. Right, exactly, exactly. So, um, <clears throat> so is there anything else that you wanted to kind of talk about or things that you have noticed with the Alliance? What do you like best about what we do? Uh, I, I just like the idea that um, there's, it's really pretty, pretty simple for me to figure out what it is that I need to be doing. You know, um, it's, it's it's all like I said. It's all laid out for you. Every everyone's interested in in your success. Uh, they want that uh, that you you're doing more or that you're uh, they want what you want. Um, and really, the only thing um, it's not the only thing, but the biggest thing that you bring to it is just the amount of work and effort that you put into it. And as long as you do that, as long as you keep doing that, um, it's it's pretty difficult to see how how anyone would would fail at this. So. Um, right. So that's for me, what I keep trying to do is just to add more and more work and more and more effort onto it. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm positive that the results will come. Right. And, you know, I mean, as long as you put in the work, you can move up. I mean, we don't, we're not prejudiced, you know, if we don't like you and you're putting in the work, you're still going to move up. Yep. You know, I mean, we don't say don't like that guy. Don't like his last name. Don't like him. Sorry. Doesn't matter how much you're working. You're not going to move up. I mean, we don't do that. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter what your name is, what your color is. As long as you are putting in the work, you will move up in the company. So. And that is something that's unique about this opportunity. Um, I have been in, in positions in the past where it's either a family company or a political situation where um, it doesn't matter how hard I work. You know, it doesn't matter how effective I am. It doesn't matter. Uh, there's there's definitely jobs I've had in the past where I'm putting 60, 80 hours a week in, um, and it, they're like, appreciate it, and that's that's about it. You know, it, it, but with this, there's a clear path forward, and that's that's something I really uh, appreciate about it, as well as all the support from from you and from Mike and Noel. 
and uh, you know everybody in the alliance really yeah yeah perfect awesome so let me see um, talk to joseph joseph can you unmute hey buddy how you doing i'm doing great how are you doing i am phenomenal Perfect. awesome Hey, thanks, thanks for asking me on the call. Hey, thanks for being on the call. You betcha. Had me on one of your calls, so I'm like. Well, I figure turnabout's fair play. It's all a good thing. That's thanks. right. That's uh, we're right. Just, we're just here working in the office this morning. Got my youngest daughter over here working while she's studying for her insurance license test, and she's booking up my calendar. And so, That's well, awesome. so man, I'm, I'm excited to be here. So what can I talk to you about? So I just kind of want to know, and I want you to tell people like how you got started, where you were before you found the Alliance. Okay, cool. Uh, well, my name's Joseph Dukes. Um, I was hired uh, a little over 13 years ago by my buddy, Paul Epstein. I was living in Phoenix and um, had just moved there a couple years before. I uh, had just stepped into a new job working in the mortgage business, had never done phone sales before. I'd actually had I'd run a produce department for about 11 years uh, before that. And I just knew a guy who knew a guy who knew a guy who got me a job doing mortgages. And so I was probably in my third year of working in the mortgage business and having a good time and making way more money than I ever had before, but it still wasn't enough. And so when Paul called me, um, you know, he told me that, I mean, he and I had done a lot of crazy things together. So I know that there are people that, um, have found this call because they were probably reached out to from ZipRecruiter or Indeed or Monster or LinkedIn or something like that. Um, so if you're a if you're a resume responder, awesome. Um, I was not. I actually was. Uh, you know, I was one of those guys that it just goes to show that you literally have a million dollars in your phone um, because people that you know are looking, but they aren't. But they aren't looking. You know, they like I did not have my resume out there. I was not actively looking, but I was a single income provider of a family of four. I had two little girls at home. And, um, and I was just, I was, I was spending all my time working, just trying to make ends meet. So when Paul came and told me that, that, hey, the, the, this company I just started working with has leads and you can make about 500 bucks a pop for every family that you sit down and you work with, I, I was in. I mean, I didn't have my insurance license. I didn't know anything about anything. Um, I just, I trusted, I trusted Paul. He and I had done a lot of crazy stuff together that never made money, but I knew he had my back. And then when he, when he introduced me to Andy Albright, that was a game changer for me. Um, I, I didn't realize that in, at that point I was what, 35, 34. And I, I had been looking for, I'd been looking for the right deal, but I'd also been looking for a leader. I'd been looking for someone to follow in business. Um, and I had never found anyone that had both the opportunity and the leadership. Um, and when I met Andy, I realized that, that, that this guy had something and he's developed a culture of a company. Like I came here truthfully for the leads and for the money. And what's kept me here probably at least the last 10 years has been the culture of the company and the, and the quality of people that I get to work with. I mean, it's, it's funny, I call, I call the people in the Alliance my chosen family, because I mean, I, I got a great family, all my family's back in Alaska where I grew up and they're, I mean, they're great people and I love them all. But um, I know that in my last job when I was in the mortgage world, Megan, I was working around people that weren't necessarily the, the highest caliber of folks. Um, I mean, you were a bartender, you know, I mean, there, there's just some folks that sometimes, you know, working in different industries, they're good people, but just, I, I had these two girls that I was raising and I, I didn't want to let my kids anywhere near the people I was working with. I mean, cause I was just like, and they know, and heck, Hey, we're going to have a barbecue over at Billy Joe's house. And I knew that at the end, it was not going to end well. It was going to be like national lampoons vacation or something <laughs> crazy like that at the end. And, uh, and that was nothing that I really wanted to let my kids around. But, but what I have found here is I found a place where, I mean, it, it's, it's nuts. My, my first full year, I made just under six figures. Um, like I said, I've been here 13 years. We've, you know, and, and I started when the mortgage market collapsed. So I was here part-time for about a year. And then in 2000, early 2008, um, I transitioned and went full-time. 
And um, so the mortgage market had fallen on its nose banks. I mean, I literally went out and in one day, um, I was working three days a month, Megan. I was going out three Saturdays a month and working just part time. And um, I made more in a day selling insurance than I did my entire month writing mortgages. And it, and, it, and it was, I mean, the mortgage market, the bank stopped lending and it wasn't my fault. It wasn't, I mean, it was just the market stopped. But the crazy part is, is that when everybody else was losing their jobs and they were having to find new jobs, I transitioned from doing this part-time to doing it full-time and my income actually increased that year. It increased 20% over what I'd made in the mortgage business and then it increased another 20% every year since. Um, and so this last year, I want to say, um, you know, at least during the recession, this last year we made just over three hundred sixty thousand. And um, yeah, I mean, dude, I'm fired up out of my brain right now. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> and, and, and the cool part is that is that the first quarter of this year, like like I love what Chris was talking about going to Thailand, dude. I'm fired up to go to Thailand. I've always wanted to go to Thailand. Like when I got here, I didn't have my passport. I was some kid from Podunk, Alaska, who'd never, I mean, I saw no reason to get a passport. I'm like, why the hell am I going to get a passport? I'm not ever going to leave the country. And you know, when, when Andy told me, he says, hey, dude, we're, we're, you know, my very first trip, we were, it was somewhere in the Caribbean and uh, it was down in, in St. Martin. And I, I, I didn't know where it was. I had to look on a map. I'd never even heard of the place. But when I got there, I was totally blown away. And every year since, We've gone on an all extensive or all inclusive, you know, basically a paid trip that Andy Albright pays for and the insurance companies help put the bill on to some crazy exotic location at a five star resort. I mean, it's not like that we're staying at the Motel 6. I mean, it, it's, it's crazy. Like my first trip, I stayed at a five star, you know, Western resort on Dawn Beach you know, looking across the key at St. Bart's for crying out. Like the water was the same color as my shirt. Like it was this psycho crazy blue. The, the sand was like, was like, you know, snow white. It was, it was nuts. And then last year when, when we went to Paris and we stayed at, uh, it was another, it was another Western resort, literally right on, you know, I, I stepped out of my patio and it was cool. I had this little patio, open these French door windows, stepped out and I'm overlooking the street and then right across the street is the Louvre. And then right over here is the Eiffel Tower. And then right here is the Dorsey Museum. And so, it, and, and it's this old castle gardens that we're literally on looking out our window on. I'm just, I mean, that was where I got to eat breakfast every morning. I got to sit out there and like FaceTime. And I, I wanted to wear an ascot and a funny hat just so I could talk all, you know, fancy and sit on this porch. But this is, this is the cool stuff that we get to do, but I mean, but so far for the first quarter of this year um, has been the best quarter we've ever had. And I mean, as of, I know, Megan, you've already qualified for our trip to Thailand. In fact, you're like that close away from qualifying for the extension trip. I mean, you are so close. I'm so fired up for you. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm so irritated that I'm not closer to you. But the cool thing is, is that it's just a choice. It's just a choice. We get to turn it on. Like you said, you can't fail if you don't work. You know, I mean, as long as you're working and you're asking questions, you're going to win. And so right now, um, you know, we're like, I'm like 3,000 away from qualifying for the trip, which to me fires me up because I've always qualified for the trips, but it's usually in like September. Exactly. So now we're doing it in May. And so the cool thing is that, is that you can do this faster than you ever thought possible. If you're willing to put your head down and work and understand guys, this is the best time. I mean, like, like I said, when the market crashed in 07, I made more money than I'd ever made at that point. And it just keeps getting gooder and gooder and gooder. And Andy keeps bringing in more companies and bringing in, I mean, our culture gets tighter. You know, we bring rock stars on like Megan Wood, who, who you know, like me, had, we had no background in finances. I mean, she definitely had a better background because she could count money back at the bar. You know, I mean, I stacked apples for a living for crying out loud. That was my job, you know. So, so I mean, I, I think that if you got a dream and you're fired up and, and you're willing to follow a system, I, you know, I have not found any better place to, uh, you know, to sink your flag and to go all in. Yeah, I'd be at the bar saying, you want to make that a double, double? 
<laughs> you knew how to double down. You're That's like, well, what I was good at. Can we make that a double? <laughs> it, it's all about the upsell. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, I mean, I have never, I mean, I'm sure you feel the same way, but I have never been as busy as what I am now. I mean, like, because the people that weren't before making sure their families were taken care of, the people that didn't even think about it, guess what? Sitting at, at home watching TV. And what are they seeing on the TV? They're seeing, oh my gosh, I'm going to get sick. And then I'm going to die. Like, right. what, what am I going to do? Am I going to make sure, I got to make sure my family's taken care of. So the people that were like, eh, I'll just deal with it later. They don't, they're not going to deal with it later now. So, I mean, the opportunity is huge, but it's even bigger now. Well, and, and along, along that line, also people who before, and it's funny, you know, out of the thousands of clients that I've worked with over the years, you know, it's when everything is awesome in the market, like, hey, man, people are made, hey, man, I made 20% this year, it's like raining money, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like funny. I'm like, do you not remember three years ago when you were completely on your lips crying, wanting to throw your ass out of a window because you just lost half your 401k? And they're like, you know, like, I don't say it like that, but I just ask them a question. I'm like, man, the only thing, I'm not that smart. But the only thing I know about the stock market is it goes up and it goes down. Do you remember the last time it went down? And they're just like, oh, yeah. I'm like, cool. I'm like, so, you know, so folks who are trying to, you know, minimize their risk and say, hey, I love making the upside, but I hate losing money. It's, you know, we have tools that we can help people protect their retirement. We can help other people who have been through that. I mean, I remember 88. I remember 2000. I remember, I mean, I'm old enough to remember all that stuff and watching people lose homes. And it's crazy because now I'm talking to folks and they're just like, hey, if I could actually make money tax-free, I mean, now, now the big thing is people are talking about Roths, but there are some folks that are making too much money to, to do a Roth so they don't know what else is available because nobody is talking to them about it. But we talk to them about it. You know, we're helping them create tax-free retirement. You know, Megan, every client you're sitting down with, you're talking about medical and you know, about hospital indemnity. You're talking to them about, about, you know, hey, you know, I love your button. Talk to me about Medicare. I mean, just like, you know, hey, everyone's going to get old, you know, but, but the cool yeah. thing is, is that, is that we have all these tools. So it's not, it's not like we're a one hit wonder. We're like, hey, we're just, you know, we got this one thing we can help you with. And then sorry, you're going to have to go find somebody else, you know, but it's cool because we can literally do a financial, do our green sheet, do our financial awareness sheet for somebody and find all these needs. And we have all these specialists within our company. I mean, Megan, you are one of the, high, are one of the best people that I know of to talk to about Medicare supplements. And I know that if I have a question, I can call you or, or, or Ivy Wilson, who's been your mentoring coach. And then I know that, hey, if I, anytime I got an annuity question, man, I can call Chris Norris with Burlington Alliance Capital Management. We got a whole team of agents that are bad at the bone at helping people protect their safe money. I can call one of them. Like, I don't have to be the smartest guy in the room, which is awesome. And they aren't going to ask me to take part of my commission, which is huge in the mortgage world. Oh my gosh, man. When I ask for help there and they're just like, sure, 50% of your deal is mine. If I'm helping you with your client, I'm like, um, what happened to just hooking a brother up and answering a question for me, man? That's all I need help with. So yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm more fired up about where, I mean, the last 13 years have been awesome, Megan. So grateful for, I'm so grateful for Andy Albright. Andy and Jane Albright have created just a system, in my opinion, is like a freaking printing press to print money. Um, but I'm more fired up about the next 13 years. I'm more fired up about the next generation of agents coming on, you know, agents like you, truthfully, agents like my 18 year old daughter, agents, you know, like, like Adam Katz's daughters who are out there smoking it. You know, people who are just, it's just, and, and young or old, it doesn't matter. You know, the thing with our business, Megan, is that it's, it's not a respecter of age. It's not a respecter of sex or race or religion or anything like that. It's who wants to W-O-R-K and who's willing to do it. Like, I, you know, so, hey, I, I'm fired up. And I'm, I'm so fired up that you got Katrina Gustin on here right now. I that, am too. That gal fires me up out of my brain. 
So, I'm so tell me, show. tell me, Joseph, real quick. Um, yep. So from January till now, yep. what are your deposits? Well, I can tell you exactly. I'm excited to hear. I know. I'm fired up about it, too. Let me look. <laughs> I, 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 actually, I actually looked the other day, and I know it's been updated since then. Um, I believe it is, uh, and see, and we have this, I'm telling you, with, with our Alliance Resource uh, you know, Center, our ARC, our Payment Center, our, which has our CRM all tied into it. You know, Robbie Kraft is a freaking genius with what he's helped make, I love that sound, um, with what he's helped us do. So, and help make this even better. Right now, we are year to date, $136,847.91. Woo! That fire. That's awesome. That's cool. That's, That's $6,000 more than what last right? week. It's like, huh? I said, that's $6,000 more than it was last week. Right. And we got more deposits coming in. You ain't worried about bills. You know what? And, and it's, it's way different. I, I am so grateful for what we have. And I mean, it's funny. And even on those days, I've learned that even on those days when, you know, when my, when it, I didn't get as much as I really wanted, but I'm grateful for what I got. But the cool thing is, is that it's just the, the pie keeps growing. I used to think that I wanted a piece of the pie, but the pie was like only this big. So it's like, well, I guess I can have this little sliver since Megan Wood took this much. I guess I can take this much. And since Katrina Gustin took the rest, I can just, meh. And then I realized I'm like, wait, Andy Albright talks about pie, prosperity, inspiration, and eternity, baby. Like the pie is, is the pie just gets bigger. You know, there's, there's 360 million people in America, less than 40% of them have any insurance. And none of them have someone who, I mean, in my, in, my, in, my, in my humble opinion, I don't think most people, even if they have someone that's helped them out with insurance, have someone that cares enough about them to go back and help them again and again and again. And oh, by the way, here's one. Oh, and hey, I looked at this and I saw, and, and like, I know that, that by watching you, Megan, and by watching like Paul Epstein and by watching, you know, Brent Swindell and some of these other rock stars out there that are working in the field, they're building relationships and friendships with their clients. And so it's not just like, yeah, I just helped you out, but it's like, dude, you know, you need my help and I'm here for you. Like I, I literally just had Paul call me yesterday. He was working with, he was helping me. He's in Arizona. I'm in Salt Lake. He called me from my client's house, helping me help this guy. I wrote three annuities on this guy 10 years ago. We're now taking those and rolling them over into another annuity. Paul drove an hour to sit down with, his, with my client to make sure that we were all clear. Got on a three-way call, you know, we're all good. I mean, it's just like, but that's the quality of people that we're working with, is that we have each other's backs. Nowhere else have I ever seen that. And you don't have to know everything. Nope. So. Thank you. And, that, and that's you good. You don't have to know anything, really. I like, sometimes I like to act like I know stuff. And yeah, I find I the dumber you. I am, the better off I am. All right. Well, thank you so much, Joseph. You thank bet you. you. Buddy. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right, Katrina girl, you there? I be here. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I can't complain. I got good. about 50 irons in the fire, so. That's right. Ready That's to go. right. All right. Awesome. Me too. So tell me, you're killing it. What are your secrets? Where did you come from? Tell us about yourself. Wow. That's a lot of information. There, I right? know. <laughs> just, just start with your secrets. I'm going to write them out. No. no. I, uh, <laughs> my name is Katrina Gustin. I'm from Orlando, Florida, and I've been with the Alliance about four and a half years. I was actually a client. Who didn't buy, by the way, um, but several several months after I didn't buy, I found myself needing a job. So um, this is this is what I decided I wanted to do. I liked uh, I liked the people that I was working with, um, even though I never got a policy. It wasn't it, it wasn't because of them. It's just because I wasn't ready at the time. So um, I started working, not knowing what I was doing, not knowing what I was getting into. A whole lot of that. And um, finally, 
I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to listen to what these guys are telling me to do. I'm going to work. I'm going to go through this. So I did. And uh, I made $112,000 my first year. And um, I mean, imagine not knowing what you're doing, making $112,000. That's, that's pretty cool, Megan. Exactly. <laughs> and a lot of people, a lot of people laugh. They said, oh yeah, you, whatever you, whatever you, you know, you know what you're doing. Um, that's, that's not a big deal. I said, no, really, I don't know what I'm doing. What I'm trying to, what I'm trying to explain to you guys is that you don't have to know what you're doing. You just have to listen and follow instructions. Right. So, I mean, we, we have leaders who do know, um, how to help us make money. And so all we have to do is, okay, Katrina, you need leads. Okay. So I get leads. Okay. This is how you make dials. I need you to make this many dials. Okay. So that's what I did. I need you to go to this house and this house and this house and knock on the door and do this. And, and I just did it and I was uncomfortable and it didn't really matter because I was making money. And then I actually, you know, learned a little bit about what I was doing and I got even better at it. So I'm um, looking at um, almost $300,000 for this year. That's what it's going to look like. You know, it was, it was mm. almost two last year. And so it's going to, it's going to be a lot bigger this year. It's exciting to be able to grow at a time when we see a lot of people losing money and losing jobs and losing their lives. And it's big, it's big that we can continue to move on and go like that. Yeah. It's amazing. It is. And we all help each other out. You know what I mean? I was just talking okay. to you just yesterday, you know, I mean, you live in Florida. I live mm -hmm. here and it's like, you know, but we still keep in contact and communicate. We're still family. And so, um, tell me you've made it already to Thailand. That's right. Yeah. Thank God. That's right. So I need a vacation. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. So we're going to be hanging out in Thailand. I don't know about the elephants. I don't know if those will be, I don't know. I heard they have, they'll, they'll be fine. Don't down. be nervous. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll go for it. I'll go for a ride. It'll be, it'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. <laughs> so is there anything else that you want to share, Katrina? Tell us a little bit about things you're doing and stuff like that. Well, I mean, really what we've been doing a lot lately, just because we, some people are allowed to go out, some people are not. So our carriers, Transamerica, Forrester, CFG, I'm leaving a ton out, but just in case somebody wants to know what I mean by carriers, um, they have set it up and allowed us to do a lot of work from home. So there's a lot that we can do without having to go out. If we can, it's always great to go out and see people. I think that that's a big deal because they want to see us and they want to talk to us. But if we can't, we can still do business, which means, you know, we're, we can still work. We can still be productive, probably even more productive. And, and we're able to do this all at a time when people are not able to work, many of them. So what I think is cool is right now, you know, I'm just calling people, talking to them on the phone, calling the clients that I already have, calling new clients, you know, getting on the phone with them and finding out what's going to help them, what they need, what their families need. Um, and the, the neat part about that, like I said, is that we're allowed to do that. We can do that because our carriers have been so supportive setting up a system so that we make sure that we can still work. Um, and that's huge right now because insurance companies, if any of you have ever dealt with them are kind of like dinosaurs. Uh, you know, I laugh when I call them that they, uh, they're old and uh, most of them are really huge and uh, they don't like to change. Not quickly anyways, you know, <laughs> right. Just, just a lot. It takes, it takes a lot to get things working. So it's really been a testament to, to our staff and our team and them at the carriers who have really done everything that they can do to keep us working and keep us productive, keep families protected and keep us getting paid. It's kind of a big deal. I think it's a big deal anyways. I don't know about you, Megan. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm loving it. I love it. You know, and I always, um, hang on one second. You know, I always, um, look at the past and where I would be without the opportunity. And right now 
I would not have a job. I would not have a job. I was a waitress. Guess what waitresses are doing right now? Not working. Working on employment? <laughs> no, exactly, exactly. So that's where I would be. You know, I'm a single mom. How in the world would I pay for my bills? I mean, how in the world would I make sure my son has food? How in the world would I do all that? And now I'm not worried about it. And I'm making more than what I ever have. Yep. And it's fun. That's the thing. It's fun. I mean, I love it, you know, and another thing, and, you know, I, I don't know, like what you think, Katrina, but I have always came from a really negative atmosphere, um, whether it be family or whether it be work. I mean, it was always negative. I would try my best, even at, you know, being a waitress and a bartender, I would try my best. And I thought I was working my butt off, right? But somebody would come around the corner, management, and they're like, they don't tell you the things you're doing right. They just tell you the things you're doing wrong. And I got so tired of hearing that every day, what I was doing wrong. So the alliance has changed a lot for me, knowing that I can be in a bad mood. I can have a terrible day and literally I call somebody I'm on the phone with them for five minutes suddenly I get off the phone and it's like they have totally changed my mindset altogether just by that five minutes I mean it, it's unreal like I have never been in such a positive atmosphere and so you know, I'm really, really thankful, thankful for that. Thankful for that. So that's right. That's right. Do you have anything else you wanted to add, Katrina? Well, just make sure if you, if you guys are listening to this for the first time, uh, obviously we all come from different backgrounds. It doesn't matter what you did before. Um, if you want to be a part of us, make sure you get back with the person who invited you on. Um, and follow up and be aggressive. And then when you start working, make sure again that you're following up and that you're being aggressive and asking for help. Because as much as I want to say I can help everybody and I can do everything, we all only have so many hours in the day. So take charge of what you want and go after it. Ask for help, ask for people to do something for you, ask for attention, ask for an explanation, you name it. But get in there and, and ask us because we want to help. We want to see other people succeed. And the only way we can do that, the way we know to do it, is to get out there, to get out there and work and fail and then just keep getting back up and trying again. And if, if anybody has any questions, needs anything, you know, Megan, you know how to get a hold of me. Other people know how to get a hold of me. Um, we're all there to help you guys. So just, just make sure that you be the squeaky wheel. That's my parting, parting phrase. Yeah, yeah exactly. Love it. Well, thank you so much, Christina. You've no helped out a lot. You really have. You really have. So I appreciate it. Um, and then, you know, I also just wanted to share that set a goal and go get it, right? I mean, set a goal. What do you want? What do I need to do to get it? So that's Andy's motto. And I've got his coin right here. And I set it on my desk. All right. So it's, what do I want? The other side, how do I get it? Right. So always keep that in mind. What do I need to do to get it? Follow the steps that Andy has laid out for us. So if you're watching this, if you, if I'm the one that hired you, call me, call me after this, you know, ask questions, communicate, because communication is everything. So hope you guys learned a lot. <laughs>